Let's get it on! Welcome to our little tale of woe, triumph against impossible odds, terror, and managerly responsibility. Our story begins in the calm waters above the town of Bikini Bottom. As we descend beneath the waves, we find another day... Wait a minute! Hold your seahorses! I can't believe this is happening here! It's horrible! Oh, thank that through my manager is here! Talk to me, Krabs. It started out as a simple order. A Krabby Patty with cheese. So what went wrong? When the customer took a bite... No cheese! Ah, oh, this has never happened before! Get a hold of yourself, Eugene. I'm going in. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. I'm feeling like more of a man already. Short slide from manager to, well, not manager. Boing! Manager coming through. Fucking treasure! My favorite! To see what extra you have just earned, go to the extra section on the options menu. Manager coming through. Thanks for the help, boys. A manager is always prepared. He's just ooze macho.
of a man already. A manager is always prepared. of this establishment, everything is gonna be just fine. I'm really scared, man! You got a name? Phil? <laughs> Come on, Phil, stay with me. I've only got one shot at this. Gotta have the right tools for the job. Bingo. Now I want you to do me a favor, Phil. What? Say cheese. Ah, the beginning. A little yellow friend awakes from his slumber and prepares for the biggest day of his life. Yet despite his dreams, he is not honored with the manager position of the new Krusty Krab 2. So he sulks off to drown his depression in ice cream at the local Goofy Goobels. Across the street, jealous of Mr. Krab's success, the diabolical plankton hatches Plan Z. He steals King Neptune's crown and frames Mr. Krabs for selling it to the far-off and dangerous land of Shell City. Let us now join our heroes in the midst of their self-pity. Hey. Hey, buddy. Come on. Wake up. Huh? Where am I? It's 8 in the morning. Closed. Go collect your friend and get out of here. Hey, buddy! Come on up here and join the party! SpongeBob!
again. I missed you guys. <laughs> If you bring me more Goofy Goober tokens, I can grant you the cartwheel move. Oh boy, I love whatever that move is. You will. Just bring me more Goofy Goober tokens. Super 
Brought me enough goofy goober tokens, you may now use the cartwheel move. Time to spin? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! You'd better get going, Patrick. There's lots to do. Badly. 
Lucas and Lenka. You are, Patrick. I've been trying to find you all evening. Uh, it's 8 in the morning, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, 8 o'clock. I am late for work. Mr. Krabs is gonna kill me. Oh, Mr. Krabs. Back at the Krusty Krab, King Neptune confronts Mr. Krabs about his alleged thievery. He asks if there is anyone present who may vouch for Mr. Krabs' character. And our yellow knucklehead McSpazitron shows up to accuse Mr. Krabs of being a horrible person. King Neptune zaps Mr. Krabs, causing SpongeBob to sober up quickly. He selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the King's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs in place, 
King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve, so SpongeBob and Patrick may attempt to retrieve the crown. King Neptune's daughter Mindy provides SpongeBob and Patrick with a magic mirror, through which she can communicate and assist our heroic duo. We continue as SpongeBob and Patrick arrive at the paddy wagon. SpongeBob, Patrick, it's time to start your journey. Drive the paddy wagon through the Kimi Lotto to the edge of town. This road will take you through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. Don't let the paddy wagon take too much damage, or you'll have to start again. Our journey begins. Epic, heroic, daring, valiant, courageous! SpongeBob, you're driving a sandwich. Not just a sandwich, a Krabby Patty! With cheese! and now you can go on to the next part of your journey. Here's your reward. Come back again if you want another driving challenge.
With the chaos of Bikini Bottom behind us, SpongeBob and Patrick begin their long journey towards Shell City. However, with SpongeBob gone, all is not well. Plankton is now selling the Krabby Patty at the Chum Bucket, and with every purchase, customers are getting a mind-controlling bucket helmet. Squidward has discovered Plankton's plan to create an army of bucket heads. Will Squidward save the day? No. On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals who tell them they will not last long outside the city. But our friends do not listen. They should have listened. Our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation. Plankton is using those radio towers to broadcast his evil messages across the sea. SpongeBob, you have to find a way to shut those towers down. You have enough Goofy Goober tokens. Now I can teach you the bash move. Now I am the master. Wow! Thanks, Mindy! Those radio towers are broadcasting Plankton's hypnotizing messages. If we don't do something soon, every creature in the sea will be under Plankton's control. You have to go into the desert and shut them down. Isn't this the really dangerous desert that no one has ever returned from? Uh, no. I think that's the desert next to this one. Oh! Well, in that case, I'll have those towers shut down in a jiffy. Man 
types up. Is the room spinning or is it just me? If you were able to think, you think this is great.
boing. I found one last spot with those ugly plankton propaganda towers. Use whatever you can find to knock them down. The last of plankton's propaganda towers are here on the edge of the desert. Oh! Breathtakingly evil! These tracks form part of a slide through this area. I need you two to race down them and knock those towers over. Sounds kinda hard. Don't worry guys, stay on the track, jump over obstacles, and hit any plankton signs you see along the way. Good luck! I didn't do that. Looks like fireworks! Plus, smash! Great!
right. Hey, Marco, let's go in here. Here comes the pain train. I knew you guys could do it. Here's your reward. <laughs> Our heroes, having foiled Plankton's evil plans, continue across the desert. But Plankton remains one stubby step ahead of them. He sends someone to make sure that they will fail. He is a vicious, ruthless killer named Dennis. Fortunately, SpongeBob and Patrick have discovered the paddy wagon in a parking lot. But the key is missing. So the only thing to do is to go into the rough, tough bar and look for it. Good luck, my friends. You're going to need it. You have to get the key to the paddy wagon back. Good news, Patrick! You've got enough Goopy Goober tokens for me to teach you a new ability. My flop is the mightiest flop of all! 
It's called the Smash. In the air? Yes. You have to be in the air for the Smash to work. You can use it to press buttons, break through floors, and even defeat enemies. The paddy wagon is parked outside, but you'll need to get the key back to use it. That doesn't sound hard. You'll probably have to defeat all of the thugs to get to it. That sounds hard. You can do it, I know you can. Well, if you believe in me, then I can do it. The, the key, key to the paddy, to the wagon. paddy wagon! Careful! Easy. You got it! <laughs> jumping, jumper, jumper, Blue guy, please stay. Kind of hypnotic.
These just ooze, macho.
Coming through! I think we've got the key now, Patrick. I also think you can get off of me. Watch your stuff! Find all the keys to unlock the gate. The gates out to the main road are locked. Locked? Then how can we drive out? For the paddy wagon and bust through the gates! Sorry, Patrick. For that, we'd need a Super Krabby Patty Deluxe. You can unlock the gates if you find all the keys around the track. How come we're going inside?
Done, SpongeBob and Patrick. Here is your reward. Oh, <laughs> Patrick, we've got to start acting like men. SpongeBob. I'll be right back. SpongeBob, wait! Make mine chocolate. I'll have two chocolate banana splits with sprinkled fairy stars and goober beans with extra sauce, please. Uh, you can let go now. I said let go, please. Uh, <gasps> what kind of old lady are you? I'll save you, SpongeBob! Ah! What is that thing? It's a... a game! No, it's true! Good job, Patrick! Oh, that's good. Oh, 
kitties, have some ice cream. Jump for it, Patrick! And so, the hideous creature was vanquished by an even more hideous creature, coming from the deep ocean trench. Well, we lost our car again. Never mind the car. Where's the road? There's the road? On the other side of the deep, dark, dangerous, monster-infested trench. <clears throat> After gulping, SpongeBob and Patrick decided to throw in the towel. Luckily, Mindy arrived and showed them what was really going on back in Bikini Bottom. Plankton had transformed Bikini Bottom into Planktopolis. The sight of their city convinced our heroes to continue on to Shell City. So, in order to become men, they cried like little babies. But someone was hot on their tail. With no time to lose, Princess Mindy thought of a better idea, and our heroes quickly became men and marched toward the treacherous trench. To get to Shell City, you're going to need to cross the bottom of the trench. You can get to the bottom using this slide. The only way across the trench is along the bottom. But you have to get there first by traveling down the slide, past those sea monsters. Mmm, the trench is pretty deep. And very dark. Oh, no sweat, Mindy. We're men now. Those sea monsters wouldn't scare a guppy. That's the spirit. Now get down there as quickly as possible.
big monster thingy. Women. Yeah, right. Here's a reward. This place is full of horrible, hideous, and disgusting monsters. You've got to cross the trench to get to Shell City. Awesome! You have enough Goofy Goober tokens to earn your next ability, the Sponge Bowl. Strike-O-Matic! Oh, I forgot my spoon. No, Sponge Bowl. It's really useful on things you don't want to get too close to. Those nasty bucket heads must be stopped. Shell City is on the other side of this dark, scary place. Real men aren't afraid of the dark. You need to get across this trench. Real men aren't afraid of the trench? Of course they're not. Just look out for monsters. Psh, monsters. Starfish. Thank <laughs> you. 
out, come out wherever you are. Start giving up manliness, even in the corners.
my head. Green bikini bottom, one hapless soul at a time. Like that hatch up.
vacuuming up manliness, even in the corners.
much of a man do I have to be? Is how SpongeBob and Patrick escaped the trench full of hideous, disgusting monsters. Meanwhile, Dennis continues to follow our heroes. Some unsavory types attempt to get in his way, but he manages to reason with them. And so, like two tin cans in a trash compactor, SpongeBob and Patrick continue on, blissfully unaware of the danger closing in on them. Standing in their way, is a field full of stanky garbage. But with Shell City somewhere on the other side, they have no choice but to push on. Plankton is using those televisions to brainwash unsuspecting ocean creatures. You must destroy those televisions. Patrick, you've collected enough Goofy Goober tokens. Now with improved targeting! Whatever that is. Doki doki! Plankton's using those TVs to try and trick people to come to Bikini Bottom. If they go, they'll become slaves in his army. If only there was something I could do! You have to destroy the TVs! Who knows how many people Plankton will enslave if we don't? Never fear, Mindy! I'm an expert at knocking stuff down! Attention! 
citizens of Plankton will enter to report any sightings of a big pink idiot and a square yellow knucklehead McSpazitron immediately. <laughs> 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 Plan Z! Plan Z! Plan Z! Plan Z! Plan Z! <laughs> Obey! Well, I knew TV was bad for you, but I didn't know it was this bad. Manliness has fled. Oh! Oh, slidey stuff. Oh! Light as a feather, but heavy as a brick! Jumping, jumper, 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 Ouch! Just like walking on ice, ouch! How much of a man do I have to be? Swimming just after eating. Go! 
kind of hypnotic.
Mighty stuff. <laughs> So tough. TVs lately. like walking on ice cream. Here we go. 
go now. Stop the mighty stun thingy! Dennis, I was hired to kill you. Look, buddy, I hate to burst your bubble, but you're talking to two men here. We don't have time for these silly games, so if you could just step aside... Oh, help me, Patrick! Don't worry, buddy, I'll save you! Let's go! <laughs> the man 
Bob and Patrick escaped the clutches of the mad, murderous Dennis. Only to be captured by the even more hideous Cyclops. And then, they passed out. Awakening in a dreamy, goopy goober wonderland where... Oh, wait a minute. Hey, it's the goopy goober. Patrick, there's the goopy goober himself. Oh boy. As I was saying, SpongeBob and Patrick continued on. Allowing nothing to distract them. Goofy, 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 goofy. Yeah. It's just a dream. Don't waste your time. Ah, go ahead. Only Goofy Goober knows the way out of Gooberland, the sea bottom's nuttiest place. Guys, Goofy Goober knows the way out of the amusement park. Follow Goofy Goober and don't lose him. Don't worry, Mindy. There is no chance of him getting away from us. Yep, we won't let him out of our sight. If he gets too far away from you, you'll have to start again. You're losing out too much, Mom.
Patrick and SpongeBob, here's your reward. She said my name first. <laughs> when SpongeBob and Patrick awaken from their sweet dreams of ice cream sundaes and dancing peanuts, they discover that they have become prisoners of the Cyclops. For you see, gentle viewers, our heroes had at long last made it to Shell City and had discovered its awful secret. Shell City was nothing more than a souvenir shop. Those who were captured were dried up and turned into smelly knickknacks. And that is precisely what was happening to our two friends. The situation seemed to be completely and utterly hopeless. But they were saved by the tear of the goofy Goobell, as well as a conveniently placed sprinkler system. King Neptune's crown lay nearby, but our heroes still needed to escape the treacherous depths of Shell City and get past their most dangerous adversary, the Cyclops. This is Shell City? What a horrible place! But don't worry, there must be a way out. Good job getting the crown. Are you kidding? That was easy. Yeah, we are the manliest of men. Then what about the hopelessness? Hopelessness? The weeping? Lady, you must have been watching over someone else. Never mind. There's no time to waste. Find a way out of here, get past the Cyclops, and back to the Krusty Krab too. I didn't do that.
a trail of debris in your wake, but you did make it, so here's your reward. <laughs> and so, after escaping the hideous fate that awaited them in the clutches of the Cyclops, SpongeBob and Patrick find themselves standing on the beach, staring out at the vastness of the ocean. How are we gonna get back to Bikini Bottom? I can take you there. Who are you? I'm not a lifeguard, but I play one on TV. Hooray! So, uh, where's your boat? Boat? <laughs> Hooray! Nothing can stop us now! Bikini Bottom, here we come! Huh? Unidentified object off the hind quarters! Bigger boot? But how? Did you miss me? Ah! Oh, Dennis! Dennis! I almost fell. I've reached my cruising speed of approximately 30 knots. Travel time is about five minutes, and the refreshment cart will be around shortly. Out! Hey, you kids! Knock it off! Many adventures, our heroes arrive back home. But it is a much, much different place from the one they left. Where there once was rolling green fields and bustling city streets, there is now Planktopolis, a city as dark and twisted as the heart of its teeny 
tiny ruler. All of Bikini Bottom's familiar faces are now covered by unfashionable mind-controlling buckets. And perhaps most horrible of all, King Neptune is at the Krusty Krab too, preparing to fry Mr. Krabs. Bikini Bottom's only hope rests with a small yellow sponge and a pink sea star. Can they survive the dangers of Planktopolis? Ooh, let us hope so. Plankton's buckheads are being controlled by those statues. If we destroy them, we can break his control over them. SpongeBob, you've got enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to teach you a new ability. You have a special power that you can use. I, uh, do? Yes, you have the power of music. Two hundred fifty-seven and a half watts of ear-splitting metal! The power of music! You can steer the sonic wave right to where you want it to hit. We did it, Mindy! We went to Shell City and got Neptune's crown! Oh, SpongeBob, I knew you could do it. But my father is already at the Krusty Krab 2 on the other side of Planktopolis. Oh no! There are bucket heads everywhere! How will we get through? I found out that Plankton is controlling the bucket heads using those giant statues. If we destroy them, we can break his control. Let's get it on. A bucket Daisy. this place. I hope my granddad is still okay. Vacuuming up manliness, even in the corners. Metal forged by the power of rock. Vacuuming up manliness, even in the 
corner. like walking on ice cream.
from me. Yeah. 
run. You're too late, SpongeBob. King Neptune is already at the Krusty Krab, too. He's all set to fry crabs, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> we'll just see about that. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a show to catch. Plan C, I love you. You won't get away with this, Plankton! <laughs> All you have to do now is make it to the Krusty Krab. You'll have to go as fast as you can to avoid the falling debris. SpongeBob, you've got enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to bring back the paddy wagon. I do? Oh, that's great! <laughs> Guys, you're almost done. The Krusty Krab is at the end of this road. Thanks for all your help, Mindy. Uh, yes, thanks for helping us. <laughs> Don't thank me yet. You'll have to hurry or the road will be blocked. Go as fast as you can and try to get past the falling debris. If the road gets blocked, you'll have to try again.
to die. <laughs> Not so fast, Plankton. I brought back King Neptune's crown, and I'm here to save Mr. Krabs. Nice work, SpongeBob. You made it all the way to Shell City and back. That's a heroic feat. Too bad it won't help. All hail, Plankton. Hey, King Neptune already has a crown. That's no crown, Patrick. It's one of Plankton's bucket hats. Plankton is controlling King Neptune. That's right. And now I'll have the pleasure of removing you along with your friends. Neptune, I command you to kill SpongeBob. Kill SpongeBob. Dodge, SpongeBob, dodge.
Idiot? Uh, no, no. Uh, idiot. <laughs> uh, French for a uh, handsome man. <coughs> Eugene Krabs. It looks like you were innocent the whole time. Oh well, that's why pencils have erased. And now to thank the brave heroes who recovered my crown and saved Bikini Bottom, SpongeBob and Patrick. You have performed a manly deed. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mindy. I've learned a few things about myself. I may be a dork and a wingnut. And a knucklehead McSpazitron. Yes, but more importantly, I'm a kid. And I like being a kid. I'm just glad that everything is back to normal. And so ends the most heroic tale ever told in Bikini Bottom. And as the sun sets over the island paradise above the waves, we must stop and wonder how long until the sequel depends on the box office. Now go outside and get some sun. You look awful pale. Hard work and dedication to capture this fine and profitable 